testing one, two, three. Yeah, sure. We're live. Yep. Sweet. Well, hi. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Cyberqueer, where we oh, homosexually God. go forward into things um, and go deep. Hey. <coughs> homosexually Words. go forward into things and go deep. That's, and go that's, deep. that's stuff. That's yeah. Yet. Do ready. you guys know what that means? I don't. <laughs> we move homosexually ahead. Um, Sex thing. Instead of into the unknown. <laughs> oh welcome, 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 guys. My name is JB. I am your dungeon daddy, and um, I am here to guide this ship uh, into all of the places in which this ship may go. Um, into oh, my bad. Yep. I'm saying weird things. It's fine. I can do what I want. I'm grown. Um, and with me on this ship is my lovely crew, starting Yar! with <laughs> Martin. Why don't you tell the people who you are and where you're from, and what you do? Uh, my name's Doug. I play a tabaxi monk named Martin, but he's not really a tabaxi, he's just a human who had certain life experiences and now looks and acts a lot like a cat. That's it. <laughs> Damn it all. Why don't you tell the people who you are and what you do? Hey, <clears throat> what up, fam? I'm Maddie, aka So Many Games. I use he, him pronouns. I am playing Dammerdell, Adarin, or Damn It for short. Um, I am a dwarf wizard who, um, I don't know, doesn't really give a fuck. Um, <laughs> but sure um loves these question mark people? double question mark <laughs> i don't know i don't know I i'm just here for the paycheck okay just I also hoping so that we don't find malexa we're getting paid yeah <laughs> Eventually, ben, I think. ben ross why don't you tell us who you are and about all about this well or machine <laughs> Well-oiled machine. Hi, everybody. I am Tehirn Dreok. I am uh, playing Xanros, a rogue human, and just generally trying to not cause more problems for this chaos group. <laughs> uh, Same. Yeah, me too. What? Yeah. Yeah. Why? No idea what you're talking that about. That was a weird statement. <laughs> Hello everyone. I am Tyler Thuin. I will be playing Wyatt Burke, and he is your resident Yasamar. The yes. Asamar with mm -hmm. the Asamar. <laughs> <laughs> and I am a bard. And finally, everyone's favorite mom. <laughs> the <laughs> The person who keeps us all in line, even me as the dungeon daddy. Gotta watch out for that thorn whip. You, know, <laughs> yeah, you definitely have to watch out, watch out for that she, thorn whip. Watch out for that thorn whip. She may have found her new love. Oh. Thana! Yep, that's me. I'm Stephanie. I am your mom bot and your dom bot as of last week. <laughs> uh, it's a new thing. Apparently. Oh, wow. That's uh, a sure. Is that a sex thing? That's a, yeah. Not, yeah. Uh, I am a warforged. I am also a druid, and I am just trying to keep my sweet, sweet gabies alive. Yeah, well, guys, last we uh, last game, on. we had a wonderful visit to the hottest bar in New Orleans, um, where you guys managed to meet up with a couple of spicy old ladies <laughs> who showed you that middle age doesn't mean the end of your life. Yeah. Uh, although it might be the end of one of their lives because... <laughs> oh, she's fine. She was fine. She was ambulatory. In the she was, one of she was taken out in an ambulance. <laughs> oh, is that different? Ambulatory. <laughs> that is, that is How is that different? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, while while Martin was partying with the Golden Girls, the rest of the crew was investigating the disappearance of 
one of their of one of the denizens of the town um and i have to remember what her name was helen, I, helen. helen. it was helen mirren why did i forget helen mirren <laughs> How could you Jesus. forget Helen Marin? Um, and after speaking with their... Jesus, why can't I remember anything today? What's happening? Why am I high? <laughs> Not high. <laughs> Are the rest of us high? Maybe. <laughs> yes. Everyone Are you high? the only sober one? <laughs> uh, after talking to Golbez, the mysterious man who uh, gave you some extra things. Then... Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. And oh. gave, he gave Wyatt a couple of extra things. Whoa. Okay. That can um, be cleared up with penicillin. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Uh, he let you guys know that there was a, there's a underground thing downstairs, which caused you guys to postpone your trip to Duval City and go investigate this to find Miss Ellen Murin. Um, and now we go to, you guys are on the dance floor of this bar. Oh, we are, are we? Martin has just walked up to you guys <laughs> and told you that Sophia is going to the hospital. <gasps> But let me tell oh you. Oh my God, what's wrong with her? Is she okay? She, nothing, she's feeling, let me tell you. Good. What did you do to her? She's feeling great. <laughs> but her legs stopped working a little bit. It's fine. She's fine. Everyone's really happy. Why did you um, remove her legs? Hmm? Why did you remove her legs? You didn't remove them as much as she lost feeling in them. Is she gonna have to have her stomach pumped? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They Aww. mentioned that. Yeah. What? But hey, what do you what do you, what do you guys been up to? <laughs> <laughs> we just had a nice conversation with Gobez here, and uh, might be able to help uh, your friends out a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, you guys are my friends. You, oh, you mean the old ladies? The, yeah, the, the, the ladies. golden girl. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, cool. I'm about three hours from a rational decision, so I'll just follow you guys. <laughs> okay. Three hours away? Yeah. Oh, uh, sure. Listen, my pupils are my whole eye right now. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Do you need the, uh, What did you do? What didn't I do? Wink. Uh, oh. Did you say wink? Yep. <laughs> I very much wish I had that restoration. Well, um, yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, um, he's saying wink. This yeah. is his his wink. outside voice. This is inside voice. <laughs> that's, that's that is normal for him. That's me sober. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay. Inner monologues are for losers. Perhaps you should stay home while we go underground. No. Um. <laughs> I tried. Yeah. Hey, I'll be fine. Listen, I I got uh, some water. Okay. Uh, Are you drinking it? Sweetie, that's vodka. I'm getting there. <laughs> Shut up. And uh, the, the bartender strangely gave me some bread. So <laughs> I think I'll be good. <laughs> It smells funny, but I mean, water, it. sweetie. We're not in prison. <laughs> not yet. Prisons downstairs. Uh, <laughs> um, There's a so prison anyway, in the basement. Is there something where you, you guys are wanting to? You look like you're putting your coats on and getting ready to leave. Are we? Are we doing something? We're going below. How? Where? How far? Below. Uh -huh. You do remember that he told you he would give you information tomorrow. Yeah. Let's yeah. go home. You're going home and sleep. We're going back to get some rest and hopefully not have you get into any get any more old ladies sent to the hospital. Oh no, yeah, I think I'm done with the one. Blanche was feeling a little weak on her feet, but she sat down. I think she's fine. Dorothy's taking a nap. 
That sounds delightful. I was going to take I... Rhodes home, but it got weird. Can we... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's well, smart I... enough to consent, to be honest with you. I believe <laughs> we head back to our domicile. God. Good God. Oh, my. <laughs> Is this it's gonna be that kind of game today, guys. Years? Hmm? Is is this what you've been up to over the last few years? I mean, what is the answer you want? <laughs> wow. That's fine. I, I accept. That as bad as the answer. <laughs> Indeed. I, All right, let's I go home. We are set to move on. Yes. Yeah. So you guys make your way home. As you make your way, uh, way as you are right. getting there, uh, Wyatt, you yes. hear a voice in your uh, earbud that you guys all have as uh, a communication device. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is the voice that you know very well. Um, you hear Golbez in your ear. Oh. Um, he says, hey, sexy. Hey, Colby. What are you doing tonight? Uh, I think we are headed back to the house. You're going to sleep. He, he, is he walking right next to us? Yes. You're going to sleep. <laughs> but what did you have in mind? Mm -mm. Well, Wyatt. Uh, Wyatt. <laughs> Tell I was thinking you. Say hello. I was thinking maybe you and your friend can, uh. Come on over. Ask him if he remembers that time he took all my skin off. What? <laughs> <laughs> he, he says, you hear, he, he heard that and it's like, it's part of my job. <laughs> uh, we which... can do it for fun if you want. <laughs> I and mean, I can't hear that part, so I'm just going to say, tell him I didn't, I didn't care for it. I didn't care for it. I, I don't think you'd want to do it for fun. All right. <laughs> what do you say? Gap grabs Zanros, come on over. Hey, Zanny. Do you want to go go meet up with uh, Golbez? You. I glare at them. <laughs> yeah, I feel like meet this is how you get Gopez. taken, but that's it's whatever. <laughs> I feel like we should get some rest this evening. Oh. I feel like we should as well. <laughs> yeah, do what you want to do, you know? Hey, Wyatt, if you want, you can just go home and later think about Gobez and do whatever <laughs> comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with some lotion. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> we probably got some lube in that sex dungeon. Oh, lotion so twenty first century. Plenty, we have plenty. I am old, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, very old. <laughs> <laughs> Wyatt, if you wish to enjoy Come your on. evening, that is your choice. Gobe's gonna kidnap you. <laughs> <laughs> He's untrustworthy. I get closer Look, and we're I gonna see him glare. tomorrow anyway, so it's not like you know Yeah, we're we're gonna see him tomorrow. So, you know like if White wants to go hang out with him, we'll see him tomorrow. You know? He's an adult. My eyes flash red. Oh shit. Uh oh. So, um mommy's saying that we need to get home. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you weren't an adult. <laughs> Her eyes flashed red. Hi, <laughs> Gobez. All right. Martin well, says hi. I said bye, bitch. Maybe next time. Click. All right. On we go. Hey, Dana. Yes. Puppies. <laughs> I turn around. <laughs> I crawl up. <laughs> climb up on me. <laughs> you do know I'm not literally a tree, right? It doesn't matter. Okay. It's better you than me. I was just about to say the same thing, Diamond. 
So you guys make your way back to back to your humble abode and um, have a good night's rest. So make sure uh, if you've got anything going on. Um, everybody seemed to have a good time. Got to sleep pretty well. Uh, why, uh, Martin, I need you to roll a constitution check. Uh, saving throw or just a regular? Saving throw, sorry. Okay, it would have been the same either way. Um, all right. How about eight? You <laughs> are fucked. <laughs> that tracks. You open your eyes, and um, the little light that comes into your room mm. uh, is blinding. Mm. Ah, my brain. <laughs> you feel Not like brain. your brain is wiggling around in your head. Mm -hmm. um, you're still seeing kind of trails of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, boom, boom, and... boom, 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 <laughs> Martin! Martin! Just stab me instead. Boom, boom, Jesus boom, 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 boom. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um what I just tapped on the door. <laughs> uh, boom, I boom, 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 boom. literally drag myself to the door <laughs> and open it. Yeah, as you open a... the as you open the door, Martin looks like his oh. eyes are bloodshot and his hair is all matted and like you know, Martin normally looks pretty put together for a cat. I I grab onto to Damerdale's leg and say, Dam, Dam, listen to me. <laughs> Are you listening to me? Yeah. <laughs> Don't party with old ladies. <laughs> Don't I'm... do it. <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never. I would have. To, I wouldn't have agreed with you, but my, I can feel my brain deteriorating inside me oh boy. <laughs> you're gonna be a lot of my help. thoughts yeah. have thoughts and both sets of thoughts hurt yeah <laughs> so wow. as you guys as he's you guys are having this conversation you hear the doorbell ring uh two, in... thing, two things before that really quick okay only because one Thana got up early to start working on breakfast, but is also making these little drink tonics that she used to make for her dwarves to help with hangovers because sometimes the dwarves would drink too much. So, so she's going to be that? handing out is those. That, racist? that sounds racist. <laughs> <laughs> just they're just specifically dwarves. That's that's all. <laughs> Not it doesn't have to do with them. You know what? Never mind. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Everett, all you just insinuated that me having a hangover made me less experienced at drinking than you. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Who's racist? Yeah, so uh, and so I can be racist about dwarves if I want to. I'm a dwarf. <laughs> I can say it. <laughs> oh my can. god! And as the doors open, <laughs> what, 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 what more thing? One more thing. Okay. Uh, I because I don't need to sleep very much. Um, I spent a better part of the the night sewing a little um, cat papoose for <laughs> for Martin because yes. I'm tired of yes. um, claw marks in my wooden shoulders. Oh boy, that's fair. So I have a mm. cat backpack for Martin. Hell yes, I'm never gonna walk anywhere. Ever again. Ross opens the door. So for the rest of you, the smell <laughs> of Fresh bacon and pancakes, and mm, I just vomit. fills in the fills the air. <laughs> Martin, for you, this <laughs> is the worst thing. <laughs> you like you? It smells like <laughs> sickly. Um. Okay. I w I just want to paint a picture of what's happening with Martin, if that's okay. <laughs> um. So you know, I have boxes in my room, just big old boxes. Uh, I'm in it. In the box, I'm just dragging myself and the box with me <laughs> down the hall and down the stairs. Uh, wow. 
And most of the boxes in the room are in shambles. And it smells a little bit like I maybe threw up in this box. Uh... Worst, most pathetic. I just, I just look over and I'm like, oh. Um, and as he drags himself out, I'm just going to start casting precipitation, just like after another, after another, after another. It takes a quite a few precipitations to get this mess cleaned up. Damn it. Why did you even get him. in there? God. It's going to can't, wordlessly can't hand him the, the uh, hangover tonic. Do you guys hear a uh, hear the doorbell ring? And it's one of those like ninety sitcom doorbells. All of these. Mm. <laughs> it's it's to la cucaracha. Come on. Yeah. Opens the door. <laughs> Say what? Sandros opens the door. As you open the door, there's no one there, um, but there is an envelope. Taped to the door. Sandrox, tell them to shut the fuck up. I don't think they're gonna <laughs> ring it again. But they did leave us something. I will Is it a open new body? Envelope. How did uh, you, you make open this smell? I I'll open it up and as I do, I'll just look <laughs> over and be like <laughs> Just clap really loud. As you uh as you you open it up and um it's it just says uh go to uh come back to the bar no and yeah give them the code snuffleupagus jeez <laughs> that's what they called me in college i believe i i believe i saw that on those documentaries that we looked at but we have to go back to the bar and uh, give them a code word. Um, I drink my hangover tonic. Can I be better? Can I be better? <laughs> <laughs> Roll a d20. It depends on, oh, say, it depends on how much JB trusts that uh, Thana can make a hangover tonic. <laughs> I trust it a lot. I am, I am proficient in alchemy and herbalism, so. 15. It starts to clear up. You're starting to feel the, the fog is going away. Mm. You still feel a little sick to your stomach, mm -hmm. but like I, the headache has. It doesn't taste good, that's for sure. I, it I tastes emerged... like fresh baked ass. I, I emerge from my box and I stretch a little bit. Like, who made that smell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. What smell? Oh, God. Uh, nothing. Don't go upstairs. Don't, don't worry about don't it. Go upstairs. Upstairs. Yeah, don't. So, listen. What? <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's, in the, what's, on the, what's in the envelope, Prince? We have to go back to your favorite bar and uh, <laughs> and meet up with uh, I'm guessing Golbez or someone will be waiting for us. You know, everyone ready? Loudly clatters addition to the everyone sink. eating their breakfast. I'm good with what. Thank you again, Dana. I'm currently Couldn't eating. Go downstairs without with an empty stomach. I'm eating um, breakfast as well. Thank you. I guess. Uh, is anybody okay? Before we listen, now that uh, my uh, brain chemicals are different than they were last night. Minus some serotonin. Um, yeah, say goodbye to that forever. Yeah, well, you can't miss what you didn't have. Um, but uh, is anybody else a little concerned about Golbez and uh, the whole cloak and dagger of this whole business? Oh, I don't trust him. Absolutely, hence why I asked Wyatt to just come on home last night. But uh, I do believe that his information might be our best chance to find this location and hopefully help out Helen and uh, your friends. And from what he mentioned, they are well connected in this town. Mm. Yeah, they're actually yeah. people that we want to know. So, I mean, according to Goldbiz. Yeah. Well, I 
we'll see that with Golbez's uh, air of authority that he had in that uh, bar last night, he might not be somebody that we don't want to know either. Mm. It would be good to make connections wherever we can. Yeah, I, I agree. I just think, uh, obviously, head on a swivel. Um, Keep your mouth closer. Absolutely agree. Closer. Head on a swivel is a turn well of phrase, by the way, Thana. It's Thana uh, turns her head all the way around to look at you. Oh. But also literal. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then continues to spin it back around as she finishes packing the last paper bag that's on the counter. Do you have more bacon, Thana? I start handing out the paper bags to each one. They have their initials on them. Oh, no. That's I packed so cute. lunches. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not done with first dinner, first breakfast. You have to save this one for later. Mm, all right. Hey, Thana. Yes. You hold this. Is this 11 C's? <laughs> <laughs> I put I put Martin's lunch <laughs> in my bag. <laughs> Goddamn toddler. <laughs> Van Ross puts his into his own bag. Thank you, Thana. Yes. Is everyone Sucka. ready to head back to the bar? Uh, no. I'm still You're the here. one having mommy carry your dinner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, Zan Ross? Mm. As a quick aside, um... Is this how you remember your little brother or your Excuse brother? Excuse me. Big brother. Big I am the oldest. Yeah, yes, I do believe that. Still could have been very me. much preferred very much preferred to stay around mother when we were growing up. <laughs> I think mother that preferred mostly, to stay around me. It was mostly to avoid <laughs> our father, so mm -hmm. Um okay, I will I'll, I'll also just chime in on my own my own backstory. <laughs> um, and... <laughs> what? <laughs> nah. And say that yeah, there are parts of my personality that this accidental cat operation, the catastrophe, if you will, oh, um, do not. has has exacerbated. So I wasn't exactly like this, but I was, I never really took a lot of things very seriously, which is mm -hmm. uh, why it was also kind of a problem for the family that I was next in line. Because I'm me. Yeah. Okay. Put this the backpack on so you can crawl into it now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thana, do you have more biscuits? Uh, there's three in your bag. But One for now and two for later. I'm, I'm not I'm not done here yet. Yes, there are biscuits. You can have one of my biscuits. I already ate your biscuits. Oh. That's all I got. <laughs> Should we A skedaddle? very tall cupboard and pull some more biscuits down. <laughs> that I had hiding. <laughs> Why in the tall cupboard? Somewhere, somewhere you know. hear. <laughs> somewhere you hear. He's eating our biscuits. Oh, you guys get corpses. When we have them. No. Biscuits, and corpses. <laughs> I, need to, I need to bring meat to the spiders before we leave. The rats. The There's only the one spider. It's Sorry. dead now. <laughs> He's dead now. <laughs> uh, um, I shall be avenged. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, we we want to skedaddle. We want to just uh, yes. get on to the bar. We'll just keep our keep our eyes sharp, our ears open. Camerdal, you can take biscuits with you. Fine. Hold on. Start I'll smiling. just watch you eat about three thousand calories. No judgment. Just an observation. Just grabs like one of those like uh, styrofoam plates and just piles <laughs> a bunch of food onto it. All right. This can be my he walking a, food. He is a growing boy. He's like 3,000 years old. 
Is that as tall as you're gonna get? I'm only a thousand. <laughs> uh, well, okay. And, uh, you guys ready to go? Make a way. We are ready. Our way to the uh, bar now. Not only are we ready, we're on our way. You guys make yes. your way uh, back to the bar. Uh, as you get to the front of the bar, um, you notice that the door is shut. There's no one in the front. Um, there's no bodyguard. There's no bouncer or nothing. Uh, it is just a building. I will shove the door open. Hell yeah. Roll a strength check. Ooh, can I kick the door open? <laughs> I'll try the door first to see if it's um, uh, Just locked. don't body slam the door open. I'm still on your back. Uh, okay. It is locked. Okay, then in that case, I am going to kick the door and try okay. to uh, open it. Then as, roll an attack. As Dan Ross is trying to knock on it. <laughs> That's Yeah, I, I'm leaning over <laughs> Santa just you knocking. <laughs> kick away. I'm knocking right as this is happening. Ooh, that's only an 11. So you... Wait, do you want me to make a strength check or do you want me to make an attack? You said you were kicking it, right? Yeah. So it's an attack. Okay. Then yeah, so, it's an 11. Okay. You kick the you kick the door and um, the door looks like it's pretty flimsy, but it's not. Um, as you put your foot, you put your foot into the door you you know you go kick and like it is a hard hard surface i'm casting mage armor and everything and then around you you hear halt and as you look around you see about six people in your direction, all of them with weapons draw. Uh, I climb out of the cat pack. Perfect. What are you doing? We're here to see. Nuffleupagus. Uh, yes. Nuffleupagus. They put their, everyone puts their things away and they say, you guys are going to go look for Helen? Yeah, uh, I do believe that's why we are here. Who are you? It's not important. I think it might be. It's not. It's you need to work on your self-esteem. I don't have to. Just <laughs> go in. <laughs> Just tries the door now that they've said that. Uh, now the door is open. You hear a an audible buzz and a click as it opens. And behind you, he says, go, in, go into the men's bathroom. Flush the toilet three times. Mm. Ooh. I, I say it loudly as we walk in. Check. I love how people around here ask us for help and then treat us like shit. And then we we didn't in. ask you for anything. You asked us for it. I walked inside. I can't hear you. <laughs> Well-oiled machine. Why don't we to the men's room? Okay. Yeah, go into the men's room. Flush. Cruising situation. Looks Wait, at like the toilet? six. I was gonna say, looks at like the six toilets. And just everyone take a toilet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, everyone take a toilet. Yeah, we flush three times. Is that what you said? Three times. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we do that. Uh, as you guys, how does flush, this contraption work? Just press the uh, button. Pull the handle. Or that whatever pull these the style off. are. Uh, it's more of a push. Just, just press the button. It's a push down. On I have it. the handle. You see, you got the handle. Yes. Whoop, down. No, I pulled it off. Then oh, give me a off? number between one and six, please. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> he said to pull the handle, so I pulled it. The two. Okay. Okay. The rest of us flush three times. Does that do anything? Um, as you guys flush three times, <laughs> um, Maddie, the one in front of you, you hear an audible click noise, and the entire wall in front of you slides down. 
Oh. And in front of you is a pair of stairs that lead into darkness. Oh. Did everybody else get stairs? I got no. stairs. I got a handle. Nope. Well, I've got I some pretty low water pressure, up, if I'm being honest. Follow me. No, I, I just got a hand job. What? I mean hand. Zane <laughs> <laughs> Rossi, you're supposed to flush. I believe this. I had to go before we went downstairs. I mean, everyone should be ready, correct? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's go down these stairs. So you guys make your way down the stairs. And as you go down, um, the walls are wet. Uh, there's a level of like mildew and musk smell in the air. Um, and it goes down probably, it's probably about 14, 15 steps that it goes down before it levels off. And when it levels off, you see just there's these metal like um, bars and you're on the inside underneath the ground level. Um, so you're like in between floors. Oh, so, okay. okay. How far out can we see? Did you say that already? Um, you can't. It, who has dark vision? Oh, I, do. Uh, I, I do. do. I do. You see about 60 feet in front of you. Uh, and it's just can, a long corridor. Can I make a perception check to see if I can hear people, things, anything like sure. that? Sure. I get advantage on that because of um, the thing that Golbez did to me. The skinning. Skinning you. Hello. I am going to turn into something. <laughs> uh, 10. Hmm. <laughs> You with advantage. That's a ten. What you hear is doop, doop. Or like water. Doop. Yep, just water. Okay. Um, and that sound that you hear when there's no sound, if mm. that makes sense. Tinnitus. Sort of that tinnitus sound. <laughs> yeah. Um. Sorry. Okay. Than is going to move uh, to the front of the group and uh, transform into a giant badger. Okay. And her body basically just folds into itself like a transformer until she looks like a purple heartwood badger. Mm -hmm. are, are you still carrying someone? No, I I'm, I'm, I got out. Okay. I, yeah, I got out the check. door back there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah. So um, I also would like to check for traps as in the room that we're in. Well, right now you're just in the hallway. Oh, I want to go to. I'm. I want to go into further in. Okay, so you go further in. It's you see, it's a landing, and it kind of curves. It's a okay. very gradual curve, but it kind of curves, and then you see another set of stairs that go down. Okay. I am continually sniffing the air for any change or any kind of strangeness, I suppose. There is a weird smell of sulfur. Um, oh. Death. So someone's getting a perm. And, <laughs> and, and burned firewood. Um, I'm gonna use, the hell. I'm gonna use my mind yeah. conjuration, and I'm gonna conjure up a, a flashlight. Okay. And I'm gonna hand a it to San Rose. Well, thank you. I can't see a damn thing. Yeah. Um. I got that. I I'm gonna go ahead and roll stealth. I was gonna say the same. Okay. Go ahead and roll stealth. And can I, so I, I do want to check for traps. Can I just do that and have like a check for the amount of time that we're still in a hallway, like even down the stairs? Or, yeah. Okay. Okay, let me do the stealth first. Uh, 19. 18. 18 for stealth for me. Okay. Yeah. You guys feel like you are relatively stealthy. And then 17 for the perception for the checking the traps. And um, you don't see any traps. So I, I'm going to whisper to the group. 
since I'm stealthing now, we were like, should we all go down as a group or should some of the quieter people maybe go first and see what's in front of us? Banna sits up on her hind legs and points at Martin and then gives mm -hmm. you a little paw thumbs up. I scratch your under a chin. <laughs> I, um, I'm fine with this. However, I cannot see in this darkness. Oh, well, here, just put your hand on me and then we'll go forward. On this, this shoulder, obviously. Just don't get weird. We're brothers. <laughs> it's, thank you for the reminder. It had slipped my mind. <laughs> I could grab your damn tail. All right. Uh, Let's. Um, okay. Forward. Yeah, so we, we creep forward. As you guys creep forward, uh, Zenros, you were showing, kind of using that, that conjure flashlight to like hand, check the hand to over it. The, I'm hand over the top on it. I don't want people to see me. Okay. Wow. Um, well, then, uh, Martin, you see uh, on the wall beside you painted, um, because it's, since it's dark, it's in black and white, but you do mm. see uh, a number nine. Mm. As in, like, the ninth level? Oh, or. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, and then, but it, then there is a door. On right before the stairs go down again. Uh, so let me let me ask just for clarification. We what is the ninth level? The level that we had we were on. No, you were on the tenth. Tenth. So we're down a level, and then there's a stairs to, to a door. Yes. Okay. So I point out the nine to Zan. Um, Who can't see it? <laughs> It's my real quick little. Yep. And then uh yeah, I guess we continue down the stairs to the door. I at least want to look through the door before we okay. bring everybody with us. Um, um as you go over to the door, um the door is locked. Mm. Sam Ross. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a lock pick set? You're a rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Even I have lockpicks. God. I think I do. I might also. No, I have alchemist supplies. I don't know why. Yes. Yes, I do. So, what the hell is... So, clarifying for me, uh, there's no nothing on roll 20 so is it just a dexterity no um you sleight have... of hand sleight of hand that's the sleight one hand. thank you uh okay i didn't remember if the thieves tool gave me anything uh if you are proficient you get proficiency but um so it's just a matter of um well yeah you're you're proficient but are, do you have expertise mm -hmm. in in thieves tools no. Mm -mm. Um, what is? Are you proficient in sleight of hand? Yes. Uh, then just roll the sleight of hand, and it'll uh, count the proficiency in your thieves' tools. Thank you. Yeah. Twenty-one. Go over, and you you feel the resistance. Uh, you can tell this door hasn't been opened. In a very long, the lock is kind of stuck. But you manage to get right in that little spot. You hear the click. Yeah, and the I door do. opens. Mm -hmm. Did you say yeah, I do? Mm -hmm. You did. Um, and, uh, before we open the this DM door, I want to double check the uh, like the door to verify that there isn't going to be any alarm or. Otherwise, for this, usually that's an investigation. Make a that's perception check. Yeah. Is it perception? No, or there actually is a. Usually, it's... investigation. Make um, an investigation. Yeah. Uh, be a fourteen. 
Seems like it's fine. Take a few steps back, Martin. I already did. Yeah, I'm, I'm well behind you. <laughs> I will open the door. As you go to open the door, it, there's some resistance. And then you hear a loud as the door opens. Um, when you go in, you it is just this expanse of an empty room. Um, you see Was the squeak uh, really loud? Was very loud. At the squeak I would have I would have like rushed forward just to be up there just in case because at that point stealth is irrelevant. So Okay. In my little badger form. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. So now you you behind you you hear the the sounds of everybody coming down. Um it's a completely it's an empty room. Uh there's trash and all kinds of like faded um newspapers and faded um like you know pieces of clothing you see a cut you see some bones um but you don't see the other side of the wall it is just this huge expanse of a room what does it smell like uh it smells like must and mildew um it smells old. Mm. I just shake my little badger head. Um, mm. You, as you shake, you can see that they've kicked up dust. Is <laughs> is this the only way down from here? Does anyone remember what floor we're supposed to get to? I th it wasn't at the eighth, or am I wrong? Did I make that up? He was supposed to tell us where to go. Yeah. Tell, he was supposed to tell us which floor to go to. Because we don't know. Mm -hmm. but yeah. I don't know what floor Shady Pines Orphanage was on. Yeah, yeah, JB, did we know or did, or did we? You just... knew where you knew it was on the eighth floor. I knew? Mm-hmm. Me? Yes. Martin? Yes. <laughs> It's on the eighth floor, guys. There you go. <laughs> I knew okay. that. I had that foreknowledge. That tonics kicking in. <laughs> it is interesting that we did not have Golbez to meet with and discuss where yeah. we were exactly supposed to go. This is smelling fishy. Then I know not literally. Well, I was going it, to. I, I was going to uh, fill him out. But no, he was gonna was fill you out. out. <laughs> Santa cocks ahead. <laughs> it's a sex thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna go back out into the hallway and start kind of sniffing towards the staircase that continues down. Okay. Um, as you do that, you see that the, the hallway continues down. Um, as you're getting close, getting going down to down that uh, down the hallway and down those stairs, um, you start to see uh, little motes of light. Um, almost looks like string lights have been Very installed lights. on mm. the way down. That smell getting any stronger? So um. And it is getting it is getting stronger as you guys go down. Okay. Be, before I left, I would like to have taken my flashlight out and just shine it around that room to try to I'm illuminate. I'm not going to go very far ahead yeah. for you guys. Before I'm before looking guys. for that reflection that you get off of eyes in <laughs> darkness. Um, also, while he's doing that, I would like to just be looking for anything else that kind of stands out, like... Yeah. Um, uh, Storage. I'm trying to understand what this room is. Yeah, was. exactly. And then I'm going to take a couple of my ball bearings out of my pack and just chuck them ball bearings. off. It. Mm, yeah. I yeah. resist the urge Very to chase useful them. Items. 
I'm throwing them out there and I'm now every time that I throw one, I wait about five seconds to see if I hear anything or see any movement with my flashlight. Um, um as Dam you... Damardal on that flashlight, um, did you use light for that? Uh no, no, no. It's um a minor conjuration. I can just conjure things. Okay. Out of nothing. They are they look like normal, but they have a faint uh, magical glow that tells you that it's it's a magically made item. Um, but uh, it's just basically a flashlight that kind of uh, is obviously magic. Yeah. Uh, as you've taken the flashlight and you are scanning back and forth, mm -hmm. um, roll, give me a perception check. And Sandy, would you like me to make that light brighter for you? No. Let's wait for a minute and find out. Okay. Yeah, it might impact Perception. our ability to sneak around. We just opened a gigantic door that creaked that would so be loud. Day 23. Okay. Uh, as you are going back and forth, you see that it seems like the dust on the ground is starting to coalesce. And I need you and everyone in the room to roll in. I was at the door to the room. You're at the door? I, I, I was at the door. I didn't not walk all the way in. I still oh, yeah. need you I'm to not, roll initiative. I'm not in either. Okay. Are we all rolling initiative? Everyone who's yeah, at the door. I think so. Not Thana. I was on the top of the stairs sniffing down. Wyatt, are you? Where are you at? Uh, we were coming Where down, so we would have been probably just now up where you guys are now, I guess. He is 16. So, yeah. right. Seven. Uh, let's see. Roll initiative. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, that's a 16. Oh, there we go. Um, public I have a plus two dex. I'm all... Demerdal, I have a plus two dex. I don't know what yours is. Oh, uh, I got a nineteen. Four. Okay. I yeah, I can see you guys. It's not initiative. Uh, just because we rolled the same, I wanted to know which one of us went first. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, my okay. stat is charisma. Mine is, as a rogue, not dexterity, but it was from my glorious DM. Mm -hmm. Same. <laughs> yeah, he did that to you guys before I started making my character. <laughs> I'm very acrobatic. <laughs> you're, 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 you're a flip bard. I'm a flip bard. It helps with the performance. Mm. Do some sick kicks and flips. While I sing. Mm -hmm. Tana, would you roll? Oh, am I rolling initiative? Yep, go ahead and roll it. Okay. Um, Let's get roll initiative is plus zero. Wow, that's a 17. Jeez. I don't remember the last time I rolled just an issue of that high. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's as a badger. <laughs> okay. So... You guys see a set, uh, you see these, this dust coalesce into a humanoid shape. Um, or coats go into humanoid shapes. You see about, you see five, uh, oh no, seven of them. Oh, oh. great. 
seven humanoid dust things. Yep. Cool. Uh, why you go? You go first. All right. Um. So yeah, I'm going to um. I'm gonna cast a light on that um. On that flashlight to to make it brighter. Mm-hmm. And um. And I will cast Bane on uh, three of the creatures. Okay. Uh, click it so I know what it does. Let's go do Next we go. Saving throw. And if they fail, they have to roll a d4 and minus that on any um, attack roll, saving throw, or ability check, I think. I'm gonna have to refresh this page. I'm getting this message. It says no VTT found. Uh, I think it just hit okay. Uh, yeah, just hit click. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Uh, if you click the base, I will see go. it. I'm I'm in actually. Uh, I should see it. Why are you not giving it to me? In the tracker. Okay. D and D beyond, because that's where I am looking at. Of course, it's not fine. Just has like blank. Yeah, it just says blank. Uh, hold on a second. I'll do it this way so that I can at least read it. My campaign. So oh, please, why are you making this hard for me and not in a fun way? <laughs> I was gonna say. But... So up to three creatures of your choice that you can see within range must make charisma saving throws whenever a target that fails the saving throw makes an attack roll or saving throw before the spell ends the target must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from the attack roll of saving throw okay all right you did it on three of them yes okay the three closest ones cool uh, uh, that's an 11. Does 11 beat your saving throw? Beat your score? Uh, it's it's not rolling. Uh, you... Uh, oh, no, you, you have... You have yeah, so your, your, uh, say save DC. Your save DC, your spell save DC is... I'm looking at Martin's. Why am I looking is at that Martin's? That's the 14. Probably the 14, yeah. So mm-hmm. right. Okay, charisma DC 14. So it doesn't hit. It, it, it doesn't save. It doesn't save. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so that yeah. one fails. Uh, is there a way for me to put something on that so that I know that it fails? No. Uh, okay, cool. I'll figure Why that is out. This not connecting. And then that one fails. Uh, all of them fail. Congratulations. Hell yeah. Three of them are banned. Okay. Well then, uh, they all feel as you they you as you shoot that out. You see this uh, dark energy come towards them and uh, wrap around them, and so you see kind of this like black mist inside the inside the dust as it's uh, and there. So those have been baned, um, and one of them is going to go for you. Wyatt, because you uh, hit them and they didn't appreciate it. Uh, oh, I'm I'm also singing. Uh, never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Rolling. It's gonna go right up towards <laughs> you and uh, attack with its weapon damage. And that is a give it to me. That's a uh, seven to hit. Actually, it's not a seven to hit. It is a four to hit, which misses. I know <laughs> yeah. it does. It's it's like, I, I, I dodged that. Uh, and then like, the next crazy one is gonna go up, go to you, and it's, uh, it's gonna go towards you and also uh, try to hit you as well because that it doesn't like the fact that it's 
got a problem with it and so it's like fuck you ho mm -hmm. um and that one is 15 to hit oh that just barely hits that I, I, is, class is 14. then that you take six points of bludgeoning damage yikes and okay and then the last one is going to go directly towards you, Zanros. And uh, does a 13 hit you? That just hits. All right. And it is going to. Oh, I didn't know Blade Ward did bludgeoning as well. Oh, wow. Uh, hits you for five points of damage. Uh, and they are in your face. Uh, that's going to take us to uh, Dammerdahl. Okay. Um, what do I... How many of these things do I see? Uh, right now, you see three of the seven. Okay. Um, Alright, so the one that just um, hit... Got a Wyatt, question. Um, yes. I would Was like one of the three baned? Were all three of those baned? All three of those were baned. Did you do the minus four? I did do the minus four. Okay. Um, Oof. So the one that, that hit Wyatt, um, I'm going to ask him to or have him make an intelligence saving throw. Have me or have the thing? Have the thing make an intelligence saving throw. As a natural one. Okay. Ooh. Um. So it has. So does that fail? Tasha's <laughs> mind whip. Um. So basically, um, it's going to take three d six points of uh, psychic damage, and it can't take a reaction until the end of its next turn. Moreover, on its next turn, it must choose whether it gets a move, an action, or a bonus action. It only gets one. Okay, go ahead and roll the damage for me. And the damage is 12. Nice. Okay, as it takes that damage, as you hit it, um, a puff of ash comes out. I need uh, Xanros and Wyatt to roll a constitution saving throw. That is a hyphen. That's a five. You have disadvantage on attack rolls, saving throws, and ability checks. Oh. Oh. So this why you, <laughs> you have disadvantage on attack Jesus. rolls, saving throws, and ability checks. Uh, you can, you you can after each of your turns, you can uh, try to save on it. Uh, Zanros, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, I will. I will take out my rapier, and. Instead of stabbing toward the one in front of me, I'm going to try to hit the one that's engaged with Wyatt. Which okay, I'm still in your same line of mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, my uh, turn order didn't show up on here. Oh yeah, you you actually went before us with yeah, your I 17. Had a seventeen. But oh. it's showing up as zero on the turn order. Okay, I fixed it. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. I'll get you next. Yeah, no, no, go for it. Finish your finish your turn first. Okay. Um. I'm just a badger. Trying to remember. I'm just a badger. If someone's engaged, I haven't played a rogue in forever. If someone's engaged with somebody, and I attack them, I get sneak attack damage. Yeah. But I don't get. Do I get advantage on that or no? No, but it would just be a straight roll. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out if I just get a straight roll or if I'm at disadvantage. Yeah, you just get a straight roll. 
Okay, that's what I thought. But if you hit, you do get um, sneak attack. Yeah, but a nine. Mm -hmm. Oh. Rolled mm. right off that 14. It does hit. What? Okay. Shut up. Take it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, good job. <laughs> okay. Um. There is the... Uh, that is eight regular, or eight just from the rapier, and then sneak attack. Nine was, it's, uh, yeah. it, it did it. Oh no, it did it already? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it rolled all of them, and it didn't show the eight, so I was confused. Oh. Okay, so eight damage. No, it's well, a total of 17. No, it's a total, total of 17. Oh, it's a total of 17 now. Okay, yeah. uh, as you hit that one, that last, that one that was a, was engaged with um, with why it does turn into ash. That was already um, ash. Hold on I've one second. Ash. You really kick an ash out there. <laughs> Eleven. It does, uh, and it just falls falls in the dust back onto the ground. It is done. I'm going to try to con save. Okay, go for it. A 14. Uh, you no longer, you, uh, Romance. you stop coughing and your eyes stop being puffy and you go back to normal. You won't succeed in uh, Thana, let's go ahead and get you in right now. Dar, uh, Badger is going to um, hear fighting and turn around and barrel into the room. Uh, Badger, 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 Badger. Badger That's is going exactly to exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, <laughs> is, is, uh, she's going to leap through the door. Honey Badger, don't give a fuck. And as she's like mid leap, um, her body is going to retransform and expand into an actual regular sized bear. Um, okay. as she lands, and if I'm close enough to a, uh, dusty creature thing, I will, uh, take some swipes. Uh, you are close oh, enough. This one's bothering me. <laughs> you are close enough. You are good. You land, uh, do you, you land right in front, uh, or right beside, uh, Xanros, and you see that there are, there is one engaged with him. You see that there are three more that are coming from behind towards you. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for the one that's um, beaten up on him first. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, roar at it. And as a brown bear, I get two attacks. I get a uh, bite and a claw. Go for it. So she's going to snappy snap for a dirty 24. That hits. Roll damage. Um, and that 24 would have been very impressive. Right, mm. a nat twenty. <laughs> um, that's a whole nine points of piercing damage. Okay, and as it takes that, I need you and Xanros and Wyatt to roll Constitutions. Watch out for that. Just <laughs> 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 <was> like, <laughs> uh, con. Oh, you got a mouthful of dust. Oh, it's an eleven. Oh, it's an eight. Xanros, <laughs> you start coughing. <laughs> But it doesn't affect you. Um, Can it even affect Thana? Yeah. She doesn't have lungs. Like all I'm saying. It gets into her circuitry. Yeah. That, yeah. The Fair dust enough. gets right. into your circuitry, yes. and you have disadvantage on attack rolls, saving throws, and ability checks for one minute. Wyatt, you have saved. I got one of those things—a canned air. Will that help you? Um, am I able to make Duster. it to the next one, or is that all my movement? Uh, how many points did you do on that one? Of damage? Yeah. Nine? Or, uh, yeah, nine. Uh, you can move to, uh, you, you can move to the next one. 
cool. I'm going to um, I'm going to barrel towards the next one and bring my paws down onto it. Okay, roll for damage. Is this still part of the original Nat three? Nat twenty. Okay. Oh, yeah. Come on, Mama. Uh, JB, <laughs> how do you do your uh, how do your crits? The way that oh, this is our first crit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the way that I do my crits is it is full damage plus roll. So max Amazing. Max. So uh -huh. we're gonna do twelve plus <laughs> Jesus <laughs> six. I rolled a six of two d six plus four. Oh, that, oh that's, what did I roll? Wow. I rolled it had to be ones. two ones. Yeah, I rolled two ones. You rolled two ones. Yep. So you rolled two ones. So that's uh, um twelve. That's uh, eighteen points of slashing damage total with the crit. Okay. So, 18 points of slashing damage, Jesus. and I'm not gonna make you roll for something that you already still oh, have. Oh shit! Oh no, hold on. I had disadvantage on that. Attack. Oh, that's right, you do have disadvantage. Oh. Uh, okay, it's a dirty 20, uh, so that's only six points of damage. Okay. I'll just keep this, hey, the same damage. Was that, was that, JB, was that one of the the original three? No. No? Oh, Those are that all one, yes, down. that one was one of the original three. Okay. okay. So okay. that six was the third one by my count. Yeah. So only six points of damage. Okay. And that's one that's baned. Yeah, it hasn't okay. attacked yeah. yet, though, so. All right. Um, and now that one is going <laughs> to attack you, Thana, because you just attacked it. Sure. And it said, and so it looks at you, and after that, it returns your roar to you. So it get, has this face that's like, ah, but there's no sound coming out. Hmm. Don't you? Uh, does a... You I have to roll a d4, right? Or is it just four point? Take four. Roll a d4. Roll a d4. Roll a d4. Roll roll a d4. d4. Okay, give me one second while I look. No, it's a, a full four. Full four Ta -da. points off. You tell lies in the church. <laughs> <laughs> Where is my dice? Because I don't ever have a dice that's four. As the, why you can would do I need it. it? You can do it on D and D Beyond. You but I can't do it on D and D Beyond. The, the die thing and hit the D four. It's three, so that makes it a does a fourteen hit. Yes, I'm a bear. My armor class is only eleven, so. Okay, so fourteen does hit. For let's see, let's look at the damage. That slam. That is four points of damage to Thana. Thana, roll a d100, please. Okay. It'll be fine. <laughs> 21. 21? All mm -hmm. right. Everything's fine. Mm -hmm. Seems like a low number. <laughs> <laughs> did you take your damage, Lana? Yes, I did. It's not showing up on here. Uh, that's because I'm in bear form. Oh yeah. Never mind. I'm at Do you? Thirty of thirty-four. If you would like to know. Nope, it's fine. You're good. Uh, let's see. Now, um, it is well, one of the other ones shambles up uh, to Demerdal, and it's going to roll to hit. This one is not Bane. Yeah, good luck. Does a... Where in the hell? Does a 15 hit? No. Okay, it's gonna, it just takes... It tries to like take its arms up and slams down on you, and you just like, no, <laughs> cool thing. Here's the thing I thought about. It, he does this, puts this thing on you, and you see a blue shimmer that just goes over, and it strikes it. It strikes that, and it does not hit you. Because you have a side, because it's a cyber shield. You have shields. <laughs> it's major armor, so that makes sense, yeah. That's what your armor class does. Yeah. Ooh. 
that brings us to Xanra. Oh, nope, not you, not Xanra, because we skipped you guys. Does Martin right. go ever? Uh, now <laughs> it is another another Ash zombie comes or Dust <laughs> zombie comes towards you, and uh, Martin, are you in the room? I yeah, I've, I've done been in the room. Okay, it's gonna come after you. I mean, no monsters. That is a fifteen <laughs> to hit. Does that hit? Uh, just does, yeah. Okay, it is going to try to slam you. Uh, or it does hit, so you take. I have to keep looking over here to figure out what the damage is. Three points of damage. All right. And it makes a weird noise because you stink. Um. Oh, it doesn't. I smell great. No, I don't. <laughs> I smell like fresh death. That's. <laughs> Uh, the other one, is, the one that was just killed by, there's an, another one that's going to go up into Xanros' face and attack him. Does a 12 hit? Does not. It misses. And then the last one is going to shamble up. You guys didn't see these ones. They were coming from the sides. It's going to look at Damerdal. It's going to come after Damerdal. There's a 19 hit. Not when I cast shield. Okay, so it goes. And you see, you guys see it, that uh, Damodal puts his hand up, and rather than being blue, his shield is green. You see a green part of his, his shield turns green as it absorbs the extra bit of strength on that. And uh, that brings us to the top Martin. of Martin, did Martin. I forget you? What about Martin? <laughs> you yes. forgot him again. What about Martin? What about Martin? <laughs> Martin, Martin can do stuff. <laughs> Martin. <laughs> Martin, take your turn. I'm sorry. Get in there, kitty kitty. Okay, so one of them attacked me. <laughs> yes. So I'm probably going to attack it. Um, so I'm going to use my cat's claws. Okay. Wow. Hey, wait, when it attacked me, what kind of damage did it do? Bludgeoning damage. Boo. Okay. <laughs> oh, so man, cat's claws. Cat for you. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Do we get both oh, it's a thirteen. That, I thought that was a nat one, but it was a seven. So thirteen. Thirteen hits. Raw damage. Eight. Eight. Um, Points of damage, and then give me a, a Constitution saving throw. Sure thing. Ten. Beats it, beats it. You're good to go. Um, then I'm going to use um, a key point, and I'm going to do Fury of Blows. Okay. Um, and uh, so that, okay. Let me ask you. So Fury of Blows is unarmed attack. Does that include my cat's claws? Is my cat's claws yes. technically an unarmed attack? Okay. So, uh, so it's two more for this is my bonus action. So two more attacks. Um, one is not gonna hit. An eight doesn't hit. I'm assuming. An uh, eight. I yeah. believe it. An eight does hit. Jeez. Okay. Um, I'll just. Do you want me to roll? I'm gonna roll both attacks and then I'll roll the um, damage. Okay. Um. Then this one definitely hits. A sixteen. Yep. Um. Okay. So the damage. Now I can see the game log. Fuck. So six and seven. So 13 points of damage. That one's looking real hurt, guys. Real hurt. All oh, right. That's all, I, that's all I do. Oh, wait. Can I... Would this count as any sort of action if I make like a nature check or something? See if I can remember what this is. I'll let you do it as a like, Okay. Fifteen? Um, you know these are uh conjured creatures. Oh. Okay. 
And so for them to be conjured, a conjurer would have to be nearby? Yep. Okay. I, sh I disseminate that information to everybody. And that starts us at the top of the, I don't know what it, top of the initiative order, uh, Thana. What? Uh, Wyatt? Thana it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be Thana. Thana was supposed to go first. Wyatt was nineteen. No, Wyatt is supposed to go first. Wyatt, Why is this Wyatt thing got not showing you that? Wyatt, go first. He, then Thana. Got bumped down to the bottom. <laughs> yeah. My uh, my thing is glitching out too. The pages aren't refreshing. Um. Remember, you roll at disadvantage. Yeah. Why? It's not letting me do anything. I can get to bonus action and reaction and other, but I can't get to any of the other. I'm going to refresh this page. Look at that kitty cat. <laughs> the the <laughs> kitty cat took there a moment go. to reach up and pat Thana on the cheek, and I had a quick moment of like, why the hell is Wyatt in, or why, why the hell is Martin in the room? <laughs> <laughs> I made eye Funny story. The other day we were playing, and the cat was one hundred percent licking its butt on stream. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was very attractive. Just <laughs> going to town like it That's was supposed so to. That's so funny. All right. Um. <laughs> Sounds as good as Martin too. I don't know, guys. I don't think hitting them's really doing much. Uh, I'm going to use uh, my... How how close am I to these things? They are... They are crowding the door at this point. They're crowding the door. Yeah, because you guys are at the door. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to, um, I'm going to use my rapier and, um, let me, where is it? Now the one that was going after you is dead. Okay. Uh, so there's one that's on, there's two that are on Zan Ross, Zan Ross. There's one that is on Thana, um, one on Wyatt, and I've been two on Damerdahl. One on Martin. No, I... one on Martin and two, one yeah. and two on Damerdahl. Okay, repeat that. There's two and, uh, and uh, that are uh, going after, uh, going after Zan Ross. Mm -hmm. There's two going after Damerdahl. There's one on Thana and one on Martin. Okay. Um, and that's all of them? That's all of them. Okay. Um, I will... Wait, no, it's not. Uh, it's giving me very clue vibes. It's two plus one plus two plus two. Well, one is down, right? One, was one is down, and there's a total of seven. So there's so two six. plus... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so, yeah, so two, no six, two... Yes. Yep. Okay. All right. One plus so two plus one. I don't um, know how to math, guys. Math is hard. Math is hard. We're, yeah, math is for straight people. <laughs> don't yeah. say that. I don't believe in the white man's math. So <laughs> I am going to use my uh, my rapier on um, on one of them that um, that's a, that's uh, that's attacking uh, Zanros. Okay. And you said roll with disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, good grief. Sorry, this is being annoying. Disadvantage. There we go. Okay. And public roll. Ooh. I got a six. 
No, that's you roll the damage. I need you to roll the actual attack. Oh, okay. So that's 11 to hit. And 10 points of damage. Okay. Um... All right, so you you hit it, mm-hmm. and it crumbles into to dust, and then it reforms. Oh. Hmm. Uh, I say I think we need to find the person that's conjuring these. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the end of your turn. Um. Yeah. Okay, Thana, it's your turn. Um. Okay. So I'm being attacked by one, but there's two of them on. Uh. Game roll. Two on me and two on Zan. And I don't know it's on third. Right. Um of the uh between Zan and um and Dam, who's uh who's looking a little bit uh bruised bruised and beaten. I'm not bruised. Neverdoll's fine. Zanros is. So. Yeah. Zanros has taken damage. Okay. I don't look too rough yet. Yeah, but I've at least noticed who's getting uh, beat up a little bit. Yeah. Um, okay. In that case, I'm going to um, take a uh, bite, another bite at the one in front of me. Okay. Uh, 14 to hit. 14 hits. Roll damage. Another 10 points of damage. All right. Um, and then instead of clawing it, I'm going to uh, go ahead and dive for the other one that's attacking Zan. Okay. Um, is the thing going to try to hit me, or am I leaving its... Nope, you're not, because you guys are all kind of bunched up. Okay, cool. Um, then the one, that other one is going to take is a... Would have been a nat 20, but it's a 24. <laughs> okay, roll damage. 11 points of slashing damage. Okay. On one of them that's attacking. Uh, the two you hit look real hurt. Cool. Um... I'm just gonna move in really close to those two, kind of put pressure on them, uh, the two that are attacking Sanros. Okay. Um, well, the first one that you attacked is gonna turn towards you and attempt to do a slam on you. Does an 18 hit. Oh yeah, I've got the lowest AC as a bear. <laughs> and that is going to be... Big ol' 11. Uh, 10 points of damage. Alrighty. That's not right. Why didn't it do it? Huh? Let's try that again. Two points of damage, sorry. Oh, that's way different. Uh, (laughs) Let's go ahead and heal that up. (laughs) Uh... You, you were at 30. I was at 30, yeah. I don't know why it tried to... Uh, um, Should be at 28 now. Yeah. No, it when I, I tried to heal, and then it was it didn't actually apply, so I was like, why didn't it apply? And then I realized it was because mm. I didn't put enter. Mm, I didn't, I didn't push it. the button that says apply changes. <laughs> and the other one is going to attack Xanros with a 15. That'll hit. 
save from the coughing or is it just is it just a thing? You can save from it. You can save. Oh, okay. Should I have been rolling saves? Yep. Okay. And that's um, five points of damage to you. Not that matters. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ouch. All right, Demerdal, your turn. <laughs> Um, okay, so, if I look around me, do I see anything other than these zombie things? Nope. Um, where's the door in relation to where I'm at? Uh, directly behind you. Directly behind me. Um, and we are inside the door or on the outside of the door? I assume that you guys are just directly on the outside of the door. Directly on the outside of the door, so we haven't mm -hmm. gone in. Um, uh, okay. Um, can I see through the door? Yeah. Um, well, you're short. You're a dwarf. Yeah, so you I see mean, sand. Yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> Can I see through people? Like, can I see it all? Like, anything on the other side of that door? Even just like the slightest little sliver? You can see like the slightest little sliver as they're moving and as the the, the dust is kind of coalescing and doing all of those things. You can kind of see through. Perfect. Um, that is enough to misty step. Okay. I'll misty step over um, through the door on the other side of the door into whatever that um, space is. Okay, so you misty step into the space. As you misty step into the space, roll a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, that's a 21. Okay, you feel, as you land, you feel a hand grab, the, grab your leg and you dart out of the way and it just coalesces back into dust okay um and as i look around i don't see anything else nope um then i um I'm going to, um, like, kind of crouch down to the ground uh, where I was kind of, something tried to grab at me, mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to put my hand down on the ground and I'm going to um, pump out a shocking grasp. Okay. Doesn't seem to do anything. That's my turn. All right, Xanros. I will. Oh, you got something else? Yeah, I'll actually, um, I can. I have movement, so yes. Um, through the door was was the stairs going down again, or what, what was through the door? Pat, the on the other side of the door yeah. where you guys were were stairs going down. Where we were. Yes. But where we're at, where I'm at, it's now, just an empty space. Just an empty space. Okay. Um, I will. This is really confusing. Um, I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to make it confusing. No, 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 you're good, you're good. I'm just like, uh, oh, okay. So there were stairs going down on the where we were at. Mm-hmm. And this door we opened and it was just dust and stuff, right? Yep, dust, okay. bones, um, and, kind of just trash. Right. Um, 
But this is where the zombies came from, right? Correct. Okay. Um, I'm going to move further into the room. Or the space. Okay. Um, roll another dexterity. How far in are you moving? I'll go about 20 feet to see if I see anything. Okay, you go 20 feet. As you get about 10 feet, roll another um, dexterity saving throw. Okay. Uh, that's a dirty 20. Okay. And you dust to kick it off. You see the dust kind of billowing around you. Um, as you get 20 feet in, it's still just this large, empty space. Um, I'm going to yell out, Come out and face us! You see, as he yells that out, you get the echo. Come out and face us! Come out and face us! Face us! Us, us. There's no sound. There's nothing, no reply. That's my turn. Okay, Van Ross? I... Forgot to save on my last turn, I think. But, uh... I'm gonna use I for detail. Uh, bonus action to make a perception check to spot hidden creature or object to make an invest or to make an investigation check to uncover or cipher clues. So I'm going to do an investigation check really quick, looking around to see if I see what conjured these things. Okay. See if it wasn't a person, but a, a like a glyph or something like that. I don't see shit. All right. I don't let that be your free action. Uh, it was a bonus action. It's one of my class abilities. Okay, well, never mind then. It's a bonus action. I mean, if you if you want to give me a nope, free action. Nope, you said it. See what happens fine. when you open your mouth? <laughs> Just following my rules. Um. Okay, uh, then I will... So around us, uh, who is still around me that's engaged with one of these things? Everybody. <laughs> I'm going to pick one that I can use my advantage on to eliminate the disadvantage. Okay, pick one. <laughs> that was part of the reason why I was asking you. I don't know who to aim it at. So whichever one I'm stabbing at, it's a 16. Okay. Uh, 16 hits. Roll damage. That is a... And it rolled the sneak attack with it. Not really sure why. It gave me an 8 for that. So okay. it would be a 19 total. Okay. You uh, take one that looks like it's doing, the, it looks like it was untouched, and you just slash down through it. And as you do, it pours sand, but it's still up and still moving. It would have Not tried, sand dust. Probably, I probably would have tried to down one that looked like it could go down. Okay, well then, we'll just do that then. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of these things. And how many points of damage was that? 19 total. That one goes down. You did see one that was going after Thana. You slash up it and it goes down and it attempts to coalesce back up and then it just falls back down. Okay, that that will be my turn. All right, it is two of the zombies' turn. Did you make one of check? them is going? Go ahead. Did I want to what? Did you make a con check? Oh, he doesn't need to. Oh, oh yeah. 
Yeah, it does. Do I yeah, need Yeah, you to? do. You have to to save. Because yeah. you, cause you're trying to get rid of the uh, disadvantage, right? That's what I thought. Yeah. Uh, that is a 19. Okay, 19 is successful. You stop coughing. Okay. And your eyes clear up and everything's great. Life is wonderful. Um, uh, Wyatt, well. the one that was, the, one of them attacks you. That is a 20, that is a natural 20. Oh, shit. Uh, that is six points of bludgeoning damage to your pretty little cat form. Uh, uh, Martin or Wyatt? Martin, sorry. Oh, so how much damage? Uh, six, my bad. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, I'm hurting y'all. And then the other one is going to go after, did you fix it? Okay. Then the other one is going to go after Wyatt. Is that great? Does nine point, does nine hit you? No. It misses. Uh, that brings us to good old Martin. Okay, so. You have two I... of them in your face. Um, what I would like to do, um, ideally as a free action, but if not as a bonus action, is um, I'd like to make a perception check, uh, specifically to hear if I can hear somebody doing a verbal thing for this spell, you know, if like if it's a verbal component type of spell, if I'm hearing someone in the shadows, failing hearing like the verbal chanting or whatever for a spell, if I'm hearing any movement or anything from the shadows. So you're going specifically for hearing? Yes. Okay. And that's with advantage. It's a 23. You don't hear anything. Okay. Weird. Well, that throws my plane in a wrench, but I guess what I'll do instead is attack. Um, so I'm gonna use my cat's claws on one of the ones does one of them look weaker than the other one? One of them looks like it is going down. Yeah, we're going for that one. Uh, it's my cat's claws. It's a 13. 13 hits. I've rolled a seven like five times tonight. <laughs> uh, it's it's crazy. Nice. Uh, eight points of damage. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to use another key point to do for. Furry of blows. Before you do that, the mm -hmm. one that you hit with your cat's claw, mm -hmm. it uh, uh, turns to dust and falls to the ground. You still have one on you. I spit on it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, I it's spit face on the comes dust. up and goes. I, I spit on the dust pile. <laughs> it turns into oh. a face and it catches it in its mouth and it turns back into dust. Um, <laughs> I, so I use then I use uh, I'm gonna still use my key point do flurry of blows on the other one so it's okay. two attacks so the first one is a nat one um, and the second one is I rolled a seven again it's a 13 13 hits so one, um, of, them, one of them hits Eight points of damage. You take your claw and you rake it down, and it just it the dust just comes out. Mm. Doesn't feel great, but I now it's going. It. But now it's going to attack you. Okay. It misses. I mean, it very well might. <laughs> These things aren't the greatest things ever. They've been hitting a lot for things that... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a nine. You know. Okay. Top of the round. Thana. Uh, there's two in front of... There's one what? in front of you. It Wyatt. looks really hurt. Wyatt, sorry. There's <laughs> one in front of Thana. It looks very hurt. Okay. Um, I am going to do my constitution saving throw. You do it at the end of your turn, not the beginning. Oh. 
Okay. Um... I am... I'm going to use a Bardic Inspiration um, on Damardal. Sweet. And... You feel inspired? <laughs> Are you going to sing him a little song? Um... <laughs> I hadn't thought about this. Being staying alive <laughs> by the Bee Gees. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> ha, 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 staying alive. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow. And um, let's see. I will. Uh, I, I'm gonna use my rapier on that. Um, on that one that's hurt. Okay. See, I should still have disadvantage. Enabled. Nama. Good God. Whoop. That probably hits though. Does a ten hit? <laughs> <laughs> Does a ten hit? Ten hits. Oh, okay. I'll say an eight hit, so a ten should hit. All right. And then I roll. They're literally dust. <laughs> Okay. Well, they're fucking ten, me up ten for points. some fucking dust bunnies. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, ten points of piercing damage. damage. Yes. Ooh, it just makes it say to take to keep one damage. What? Or keep one hit point. Damn. Damn. Okay. Um. All right, Dana, you're the boss of this bitch. Go ahead and do it. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, munch on its ass. Not in a fun way. Are you being a are you being a butt gobbler? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's only no, eleven. But, what oh, was wait. it? Butt, the butt burglar. Butt burglar. Butt burglar. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it's an eleven eleven to hit, unfortunately. Eleven hits. Oh it does? Yeah, oh. they have eight. Their armor class is eight. I was about to say, I hit with an eight. So. Six points of piercing, of bite damage. Of What's that? Twenty-five. Damage. That was I was rolling with disadvantage, so I was seeing if I rolled any lower than eleven. I didn't. <laughs> I rolled really well. I feel really good about that. I don't see. So this one, you said you did how many points of damage? Six. This one is pretty hardy. You slash at it, and it falls to the ground and comes right back up. Cool. I'm going to just um, jump on it with my claws and see okay. if I can't finish it off. Uh, there we go. I actually remembered to hit the button this time. 15 to hit mm -hmm. for 8 points of claw damage. Roll a natural 18. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to roar really angrily. This is the last one, right? No, there are still nice. three more. Three more. After this one, there are three more. Shit, okay. Really? Wait. They keep coming back. Oh. There were seven. Um. There was, but every time... So, every time you, you get them down to zero, they get a roll, and if they beat the damage, then they come back up with one hit point. Ah. Uh. All right, she's going to roar really angry um, towards them and then also just everybody else. And then she's going to bolt further into the uh, giant warehouse room. Okay. I'm just gonna run my full movement as far as I can get into that room to see if I can figure out where these are coming from. As you bolt into the room, first thing, how far into the room are you going? I'm using a full 30 feet of movement. As okay. As far as I can go. As you bolt 30 feet into the room, I need you to roll two um, two dexterity checks. Shit, okay. 
Saving Mistakes throws. Were made. Saving throws, sorry. Uh, okay. I'm in why, why did you roll so. one? <laughs> I didn't I, I didn't roll a con save on the end of my turn. Oh, well, it didn't. Because you just like... That would be a 9 and then a 19. So uh, the first one, actually, so you get about 10 feet before one grabs you. And before the, the one one grabs you and grabs your foot, and as it grabs your foot, you slide and slide into uh, into the ground. You take three points of sliding damage. I don't know. <laughs> Awkward. Um and um the as you slide you you move dust away and you see uh probably about two feet from where Damardaw is you see a the the pieces the beginnings are part of a rune on the ground Ooh. okay um I don't, I don't think I have anything else to do right now because I've already roared and moved and attacked, so. Okay. And you can't tell us about it either because you're in bear No, form. I mean, I can roar and point, but I think I probably used up all of my actions in that for about six seconds of stuff, so, yeah. <laughs> probably going to call points there. <laughs> so, uh, one of the, uh, one of the zombies is going to come out of Xanross's, it's going to move out of Xanross's direction. They see you as you move that, actually, here we go. As you uncover the rune, all of the zombies turn in your direction and start shambling towards you. Stabity, um, stabity. Opportunity attacks. Yeah. Yes. Stabity, stabity. They're coming. Oh, yeah. Hey. So uh, one of them is going towards you right now. All of them have looked, but only one uh, has moved towards you, and that one is leaving Xanross's uh space so clearly i've upset them in some way you have good stabity this isn't considered engaged no it's just a opportunity attack it's so just an opportunity attack need to roll another d100 for taking damage or am i okay right now yep uh it's 19 to hit 19 hits roll the damage 28 28 you're good in those 20 zones. Oh, that's a five damage. Okay, five points of damage. Uh, and then the other one that was in your space is also moving, but you cannot take another attack of opportunity because that was your reaction. So it moves closer towards the room. Uh, Martin, your turn. So, okay. I see that everybody is like that. Dana has done something. Wait, 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 Real wait, quick. Wait, 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 Both wait, of us yeah. would be between yeah. Dana and, and Martin. And Martin yeah. <laughs> oh, Did yeah. I miss you guys? Yeah. Yeah. We had Damn to it, I, I hate it here, bro. You're the okay. one doing Demodal, this. Never dog go. Okay. It's because the way that this is doing, because I'm having to scroll back up and down because it doesn't actually make the dead ones go away. Uh, okay. Um, so, um, so I see that there are, there's a zombie moving towards Thana. They all look Correct. towards Thana when it's moving towards her right now. Um, and as I look over where Thana is, do I see anything? Um, you, as you look over where, where Thana is, you see the piece of the rune on the ground. Can I make an arcana check? You absolutely can. Okay. Let's see. Uh, okay, that's a 15. Uh, 15, you know that this rune is the rune. You've seen this rune before. It is a rune of uh, Conjuration. Okay. And you uh, assume that this is the rune that is causing these things to appear. Ah, okay. Then I'm going to um, uh, 
I'm going to move. No, I don't need to move closer. I'm. I'm going to. Um, fire a chromatic orb at the room. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, and it will be. Um, and I'll conjure thunder damage with it. Okay, that hits the rune. Um, give me damage. And that will be... Uh, well, yeah. Oh, shit. 20? Oof. Okay, as you hit the... As the, you throw this orb down, the thunder uh, crackles from it, hits this rune on the floor, and um, you see the rune kind of lift to dust and then float away, and all of the zombies around you fade into dust and just hit the ground. And it is quiet. All you hear is your own breathing. And inside of your heads, you hear, this was a warning. Get out. And that's where we're going to end tonight's episode. Well, uh, all right. How about that Mo? was, yeah, I hate zombies. So, I, guys, how was that? Yeah. That was good. I hate zombies. <laughs> just can't keep um, them down. Uh, before we leave, I just want you guys all to make sure that you level up to level four tonight. Uh, yeah. Level up! Uh, yes! Um, A-S-I. A-S-I. So, good job figuring it out, doing the things. Um... <laughs> Now you know that there may be something worse happening coming down the pipeline, but who knows? Or it could be just whatever is in the ninth floor causing you guys all these problems. You don't ever know. Everything sucks in the lower levels. Everything does, in fact, suck in the lower levels. Um, But that's what happens here on CyberQuery 3120. Uh, Thank you guys all for watching. Um, let's see. Thana, why don't you tell the people where they can find where they can find you? Golly gee whiz, that's me. I'm Stephanie, MT and Tales Everywhere, and you can find me on this channel playing lots of games. I am here every other Sunday playing Dragonlance, uh, Dragon's Rebirth as a sweet little dewdrop, um, who just wants everyone to get along. <sighs> and then I'm here every other Monday playing Nancy Druid, um, where I am a very tough kid with a pet beaver. It's not a euphemism. Don't give me that one. Sure, 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 sure. I'm also here every Wednesday, either with these chuckle queers. I don't dumb, know. Dumb gabies. <laughs> dumb gabies. Chuckle fucks. I, you know, just just trying to be mom bot chuckle slash babies. dom bot. Um, <laughs> and then opposite Wednesdays, I'm playing Dragonlance Legacy at Chaos, where I play a completely opposite character. Who is the big dumb Gaby? Who's the who is the big dumb Gaby and is hey. just trying to find her wife? Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. Who also happens to be a Leviathan. It's fine, don't worry about it. Lady. <laughs> yeah. Um uh, otherwise you can find me everywhere else online at Tabletop Loot if you want dice and dice bags and dice trays and jewelry and blah blah blah, all that good stuff. Um and that Table is top loot. yes. <laughs> I just got uh, Beholder liquid cores, and they're pretty rad, and I love them very much. That and the silicone dice because they're bouncy. Oh, I love silicone. Anyway, um, because <laughs> it's bouncy. That's all. <laughs> As you were. Why you like silicone? Explain. Tyler, tell the people where you can find you at. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am Tyler Doolin. You can find me on the Clock app and the Instagrams. And... Grinder. 
<laughs> Various Smithies. different places. <laughs> Growler. <laughs> Craig Craigslist. Cra- not Craigslist. I don't even know what some of those are. Okay. Uh, there's no Craigslist Curry. anymore. Yeah, Craigslist is dead. Just list, all right? so, you know. yes, Angie's <laughs> list. <laughs> Angie's list. You know, when, you know, um, yeah, I, I totally lost my train of thought. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's what I, that, that's what I do. Yep. Uh, stuff. Tig, tell people where they can find you. Uh, hello everybody. I'm Tig here in Durio. Uh, you can find me at Tig here in one on pretty much everything. And to spell it, it's T-I-G-H-E-A-R-N the number one um i'm pretty much just here right now i'm working on uh, a couple of entries for the blog that i run uh uh, shadows to light shadows number two light um trying to get that going again but uh other than that you can just find me here for this wonderful romp and queerness with mom trying not to murder us all so (laughs) It's, better be, you better have my name in just those fun. Trees. Anyway. Dang. <laughs> it's my blog. Dang. Okay. Dang. <laughs> you guys can fight off camera. Right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's me. I'm just here. <laughs> Maddie, tell the people where they can find you at. Uh, hey, folks. I'm Maddie, aka So Many Games. I use he and pronouns. Uh, you know, you can find me here on this channel um, sometimes, occasionally. Um, uh, here every Sunday, here every Tuesday and every Wednesday, um, either playing or running a game. Um, but we have uh, content here um, for and uh, well, it depends. Um, you know, we're still uh, picking up the pieces and whatnot, but um, currently three nights a week going on three and a half going on four four and a half five somewhere around there pretty soon um plus we have our next um helping hard hands fundraiser on uh scheduled for july 13th it'll be uh, saturdays now um and uh we've got about uh 13 signups so far for uh folks to run games play games uh mod um and uh, if you want to sign up, uh, just chop, jump into the, ch- or, well, you should be in the Chatty Fam uh, Discord. And if you're not, and you still want to, you know, um, party with uh, the Chatty Fam, um, hit me up and I'll send you the sign up form. Um, uh, we definitely, um, we might have all the GMs we need, you know, because um, we've gotten a plenty of sign ups so far for the, for the GMs, but. We definitely need some more players if you want to play any games with us. Um, we're doing a bunch of one shots, raising money um, for someone in the community that needs help. That's what we do every couple. Of I months. need help. Um, so, <laughs> um, and yeah, and if you know uh, want to nominate somebody as a recipient, um, just hit me up and let me know. Um, otherwise, I have to guess, and then you know do the research and try to find somebody who needs help and then just dump a bunch of money in their Kofi or whatever um, you know at the end of it all so uh, yeah um, also we have um, uh, so nerdware is my uh, store it's uh, we've got the cyber queer merch we've got uh, chatty fam merch um, we have a bunch of uh, loot shirts root shirts and uh, underwear like the Yasmar um, briefs and whatnot. Um, and Yasmar on your Asmar. That's right. Um, and uh, we've still got some price cuts going on. Um, the, all the underwear is on price cut. All the uh, uh, our holy symbol necklaces are on price cut. And um, there was something else that I'm forgetting. I don't know. Um, but we're also going to be um, doing some more uh, buy one get ones or buy three get one free 
on uh, certain items. So just uh, um, check it out. It's so nerdware.com. So nerdware. It's what the nerds wear. And it's what the nerds wear. That's right. Um, and I'm also mm. a graphic artist. You can hire me to make graphics for you. Um, you can see my portfolio at so many games.com. Uh, and that is me. Douglas, tell the people where they can find you. Um, so where can't you? Um, honestly. So first and foremost, I'm at Doug Terranova. Just do your best on spelling pretty much anywhere on social. Um, I have a podcast with a fellow comedian, uh, every Wednesday, we talk about conspiracy theories. It's called Who's Funding This Podcast? Um, you can find it anywhere that you listen to podcasts. Um, this week, we, today, our episode actually that released today, uh, was about conspiracy theories surrounding the Titanic um, and why it done sunk. Um, and you can also find me, gosh, in June, so many places at so many times. Um, you, every first Friday um, at Flip Roasters in the West Bottoms in Kansas City, we have a show called Comedy Roulette. Every third Monday at Gail's Public House, we have Comedy is Queer. It's been going on for over two years now. Every third Friday at the Kansas City Improv Theater in Westport, I have a improvised comedy game show that I host called Quick Draw Comedy. And in June, because I hate myself, I have also booked two more shows. Um, so the 28th, I will be at Barrel of the Bottoms in Kansas City. And on the 29th, I will be at the Bird Comedy Theater, also in Kansas City, doing Pride-themed shows. So if you remember any of those and are in Kansas City and want to come, I do jokes. Stuff. Yeah. That's all. And my name is JB. You can find me everywhere. You can stalk your ex at Little Star eight four eight one. You can also find me in Kansas City, um, hanging out, doing stuff, being weird. Uh, but you can find me especially on one of the shows that Dougie was talking about, um, doing that show. And that show I have the date for, but I don't. Friday, remember. June seventh at Blip Roasters, and Friday, probably June another. 7th at uh, Flip Roasters. And you're also doing Friday, June 28th at Barrel of the Bottoms. I am not doing Friday, Friday, June Oh, yeah, you're not going to be there. We had to reschedule that one. But you might be doing another one. Who knows? I haven't booked them all yet. So. Yeah. so I'll be doing comedy, doing those things, and having a good time. You can also find me every when, – when I'm not here on Wednesdays, you can find me on my YouTube channel, KCAPC, doing Queer in Present Danger with Tig and Tyler – where we talk about politics from a queer lens. And coming soon, hopefully, maybe, we're gonna invite you guys to the barbecue. That's black, blurred, and queer. Where we, me and two get made, two special co-hosts who are very near and dear to the Chatty Fam heart will be talking about nerd shit and blackness and black nerd shit. Hell yeah. More details to come. And that's all that I have. Oh, and if you, you can find me every other Tuesday for Eberron Wilderness of Mirrors, where I am here playing uh, Matthew McConaughey's queer cousin. And you can find me on Sundays for Dragons of Rebirth, where I play a bratty little child who needs a spanking. Um... <laughs> It's true. I'm going to be honest with you. It's very true. Um, so, but Maddie. It's okay. They're an adult, so you can't spank them. It's okay. You can't spank them because they're an adult. Yeah. They just look like a child. Yes. So, it's weird. So, but now she looks 14, but still. Oh, still um, child. Yeah. Still child. Um, yeah. Uh, so, we are going to do a raid. We're going to raid a good friend of the Chetty fam, the Lady Ari. Um, and while we raid them uh we just have a few reminders for folks before we go so folks remember black lives matter trans rights are human rights stop api hate stand up to jewish hate stop telling people with uteruses what to do with their uterus it's not yours okay fuck off all right mental health is health 
climate change is real. Read a fucking book. Free the fucks. If you haven't gotten that part already. All right. And when given the opportunity, choose love. We choose you, Pikachu. And um, or choose butts. Or yeah. Well. Bye. 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 Mm-hmm.